Well, I've been operating school buses for over 30 years, and I think the acquisition of propane-powered buses is probably the most significant thing that has happened to any school bus operation. It has had a profound effect positively on the schoolyard, on students, faculty, and our drivers love them. This year we'll be running 247 propane buses. A little bit over 40% of the fleet is propane powered now. The City of Boston has to reduce emissions 25% by 2020 and to be carbon neutral by 2050. In the short term that means switching to much cleaner burning fuel sources and converting from diesel to propane helps us move in that direction. Well, our initial purchase was 86. We repeated and purchased an additional 86 the following year, and this year we put 75 propane buses into service. The Boston Public Schools bus fleet accounts for about 10% of greenhouse gas emissions, and switching to propane has had a significant impact in reducing those emissions from this large source. The propane project was originated primarily in pursuit of cleaner air in and around our schools. The benefit was far more direct. Although it has many financial advantages as well, it transformed the schoolyard in both uh, tailpipe emissions and the level of sound. Whenever we make a purchase of a school bus, we look at not only the initial acquisition price, but its anticipated life cycle costs. And we believe in preventative maintenance costs, in uptime and fuel efficiency, that the buses will save us money over comparable diesels. The biggest difference has been downtime. We've been able to pull the buses in the shop for maintenance. They've been four hour average, and then they're back on the road for the afternoon. One of the biggest advantages of our propane buses is the number of hours, number of days that they're up. They require far less maintenance than today's modern diesels that are equipped with sophisticated emission systems. And our oil and filter changes are significantly different, so our savings were immediate. We save time on maintenance between uh, changing filters, the amount of oil that we have to replace, and components that we have to check. In the winter time when it's cold out, we have uh, cold start teams that come in. We've been able to reduce the cold start team significantly because the propane bus cranks right away. Our buses have accumulated 4.5 million miles of urban service. Our school buses run an average of eight hours a day. So having traveled thousands of hours and thousands of miles, we're ready to purchase again.